Hello, dear students. I hope you are fine. Today, we will talk about domestic waste and recycling. Maybe you heard this subject, but we will talk deeply. All of us use consuming many things in daily life. Sometimes we just throw what we consume to the trash can. But is it really trash? We don't pay much attention to it. Today, we will have depth information about that. Let's talk about the differences between waste and garbage. Waste is defined as any material that has expired and needs to be removed from where we live is called waste. Waste occurs in factories, homes, schools, and workplaces. Garbage is defined as follows. Materials that cannot be used in any way and wastes are called garbage. Paper, glass, plastic, cardboard, metals are not garbage. So what kinds of excuses are available? Let's examine them a bit. First, reuse it is defined as the use of waste materials without any action is called reuse. For example, refilling water into pet bottles, toys that growing children do not use. Now let's talk about the concept of reduce. Reduce means to minimize the amount of waste we create, for example, by large economy size products instead of individual wrap items. And now let's look at the concept of recycling. Reuse of wastes after some processes is called recycling. For example, plastic recycling, paper recycling. Now we can talk a bit about domestic wastes. Items that have fallen out of domestic use or are in the form of rubbish are collected as domestic waste. Domestic waste water, waste oils, paper, bags, batteries, bottles, boxes, plastics, paint waste, old furniture, old clothes, metals, old electronic devices, vegetable and fruit waste, food waste are domestic waste. Plant and animal waste is called organic waste. And the other subject is recycling. Now we talk about the stages of recycling. It consists of three stages, one separation. It should be separated in separate collection areas for plastic, paper and glass products too. Classification, the segregated wastes are classified. Classified materials must be transported separately. Three, evaluation the recyclable wastes are subjected to physical and chemical processes to create new products. Now let's increase our examples and give some details. One, paper products, paper, cardboard, newspaper, magazine, book, etc. And the other one, two, metal products, can, aluminum foil, beverage cans, cables, old kitchen tools, etc. And the other one. Three, plastic products, pet bottles, bags, etc. And the other one. Four, glass products, glass bottle, jar, etc. And the other one. Five, batteries. Most of the batteries are recycled. So why do we recycle? Some benefits of recycling. It is ensured that our environment is kept clean. Waste thrown into the garbage can reduced. We leave a clean environment for the future. Another benefit, contribution to economy. The decrease in the consumption of petroleum products contributes to the country's economy. We can increase useful examples. Another benefit, natural resources are protect. Forest and water resources are less damaged. Another benefit, energy saving is provided. Since the use of raw materials will decrease, energy is saved. Today, I think that's enough. See you next lesson. Goodbye.